To create our whack-a-mole or whack-a-potato game, we've got to get a potato button. Let's create a potato button function that gets a button just like we did before, where we pass it an image, some audio files, and a callback, and default some of the display object properties to reasonable defaults. So Y, X, rotation will all be zero. Scale will default to one. Or 100% get our button which is a pixie sprite loaded from an image whatever image you pass in fix the button there's some things we want to fix on it first we want to set the anchor to the middle so if we spin it around it spins from the middle we also want to make it interactive so we can click on it and we're gonna set the properties of X Y Rotation, rotation, and scale to what you passed in. And actually, scale is not a setter. Sorry about that. It's a set function. So it sets the X and Y scale because those are independent values. Now we have a potato button. Potato. Images, potato, ping. And we'll leave the rest of them as reasonable defaults. Given the fact that we didn't pass in stage or parent, we're gonna mainly add it ourselves. So we'll say app stage, add child. Now, if you refresh the screen, you'll see our potato over here. The potato is pretty big and the center point is in the middle there. That's why you're seeing only one fourth of it. So let's scale it down a tad. The third parameter we don't really care about. X and Y, we'll set those to 100. And the rotation, we don't wanna change. The scale, let's go ahead and put that at 30. Much better. Although it is an interactive, we're not going to get the pointer unless we were to add button mode. Now you can actually see, you can click on it. So when we click our potato, we want it to go away. What we've been doing in the past to show things is add them to the stage. There's a visible property, but let's just remove it and not actually draw it at all when we click on it. We'll add a pointer down, click handler, just like we did before. Remove itself from the stage. So if we say remove child, our button still exists. We have all our properties in state with it, which is wonderful, but we don't want it to show anymore that all display objects that are actually added to something will have their parent property automatically set for them right after the add child. We can call remove child on that parent and say, hey, remove me. Any display object has the ability to remove itself from its parent once it's already added. If its parent's not added to the stage, that's fine. The child can still remove itself from something that's not even on the display list or actually inside of the canvas being drawn. So now when we re-click it, it'll remove itself. It's still there, but you notice we don't have our pointer anymore. We can't see it. It's not intercepting events. It's not even being drawn, not consuming CPU or resources to be drawn. But the object is still there in RAM if you wanted to add it back later. Play a sound when you squish it. Add another howler sound. Whatever you pass in for the MP3 and AUG, we'll pass that to the howler sound. When you click, we'll play the sound first and then hide the button and go back. You can hear it. Does a little squish sound. That is how you add display objects to the screen and remove them from being drawn or displayed on the screen. The objects still exist. You can edit their properties, but they're no longer being drawn and they're no longer being interacted with from a touch or mouse perspective. Often good practice to check to see if the button actually has a parent. In our case, we know we have one.